Mr. Throwback Thursdays. What's going on, Rath? What's up, dude? Did you say you were raping babies earlier? <laughs> <laughs> I might have referenced I heard, that. Yeah. I say raping baby, and you say, yeah, that's just like me. I went, wait a minute, what kind of show are we getting into here? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've told some of the darkest jokes to some of my friends, you know, and, like, I, our one buddy, like I said, like, he was like, Dude, if if I just heard you out of the blue, I would I would hate your guts, but I know you, and I love you, like. <laughs> <laughs> I hear him say rape, and I almost... I almost broke into my Bill Cosby impression. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear your Bill Cosby yeah. impression. My name is Bill Cosby, and I like pudding. <laughs> pudding my dick in unconscious chicks. Fuck <laughs> 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 Now, is that Jamie? No, that's Bill. That's Bill. Okay. That's fucking awesome. I do no impressions. <laughs> I don't either. I did one earlier that was... What's that? He does an impression of a white guy who likes rap music. <laughs> we, we both do that one. Yes. <laughs> How long have you guys been doing the show for? Uh, a year and a half now. Cool. That's what we're about. We're, we're getting there. And I've just heard, like, yeah. a lot of people say, even, like, celebrities, like hit the year mark and they give up so that's cool to hear yeah no I, we, we always said you know, we're, we're gonna do it until it's not fun anymore so I, I was gonna ask too do you guys find yourselves like constricted to content or do you talk about every everything um you know we, we cover like 1973 to 1996 hip-hop and but you would be surprised what comes up in the news oh that yeah i into that <laughs> yeah there was one not too long ago yeah, of, I, of a 90s rapper who, from North Jersey, I, I can't even remember the guy's name, but he impregnated his daughter or something, like, umpteenth times, man. It was fucking insane. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know how they figured it out, but it was it was sick, man. Look, we get our news from everywhere. We didn't get that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, it was shit. I bet he's a Wu-Tang affiliate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm they're, trying to figure it. They are the crazy ones. It was probably about a year ago. I'll have to Google it. I, I don't remember. But, yeah, it was like he was from North Jersey, and he was a rapper from the 90s, and he impregnated his daughter, like, I can't tell you how many times. It was sick, dude. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, you can Google anything, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's some Morgan Freeman stuff going on there. <laughs> and I was going to ask, too, do you guys go live, or is it all pre-recorded? Like no, we we haven't gone live yet. We we've okay. considered it, but with all the drops and bumpers and everything that we have, it, it's just a whole lot easier for us to do it. Like we record it usually on a Monday night and yeah. then drop it on Thursday. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask too because I saw you guys take phone calls, so I didn't know yeah. if it was live or pre-recorded. Yeah, well, we got a an answering service, you know, and it's the the TBT hotline. So you can call in, ask anything, and then just as long as I've got that. Uh, voicemail before Monday night, we run them live during the show and cool. and play them with no previous, you know, we don't want to have any advance notice on what they are. Oh, wow. That's J cool. Jamie, who who was our one and done this week? Like on tomorrow's this show? The what? On tomorrow's show. Oh, my God. Who the hell was that? Oh, the Fugees. Fugees. Yeah. The story they're talking about is the director of the Killing Me Softly video That's... got 90 years in prison yeah. for getting five of his seven daughters pregnant. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Fuji's. <laughs> you can Google anything. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that now. Yup. Now I wonder if he walked in there going. I wonder if he walked in there going, ready or not. Here I come. <laughs> you can't hide. <laughs> <laughs> I need you and impregnate you. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of bad humor you get on our show on a weekly basis. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 85, straight, 85 straight weeks of lousy jokes <laughs> and bad impressions. <laughs> 
what uh Jamie, what you were saying earlier about how you didn't want to go live right away because of like all the bumpers and stuff. What I do is because we just started getting bumpers and you know we got the high voltage thing. Is like we'll do the show live without really any of that stuff, and then because we record also when I put it on the SoundCloud, I edit in all that. Like I'll edit in all the bumpers and all that stuff. Yeah, that's that's what we were thinking about because um, I know one of the other shows on high voltage, uh, Attack of the Fangirls. Um, they used to broadcast over Twitch. And, you know, there would only be like five of us there, but they, they would do that. And then they would release their, um, their edited version, I guess, okay. know, the next day. Yeah. Yeah. So we do uh, a couple of days later, it goes on SoundCloud and then individuals on YouTube and all that. Yeah. Cause I picked you guys up on Stitcher. That's where I listen. Cool. 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 That's what nice. I was wondering. Cause dude, every time I go there. It never shows me analytics. At, um, same with iTunes. Like I can't see who's watching us. But yeah, it, it's horrible. I, did I, we did all our stuff through uh, Blueberry. Blueberry. I'm not familiar with what that is. It, it's a uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's and it's spelled blubbery. <laughs> blubbery. B r r y. Okay. And that's what I called it for the longest time. Was blubbery. <laughs> and that's like what? That's like an RSS feed, I guess. They are they're everything. They're okay. it's it says uh, the podcasters' tools of the trades. So they got statistics, hosting, uh, cool. power presses through them. Do you awesome. do you pay for that or is that all free? I don't. There's a there's a free, and then there's a paid version as well. Wow! So you you get more specific statistics and whatnot. I know how many downloads we've gotten since we started the website because before I started, we put the website up. We didn't have any statistics. You know, right. we, we we were going through talk shoots. It was free. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but as soon as we picked up our web, we started the website end of January this year. And since then, numbers started going. I can tell you where people are listening, what countries for free. The individual states and stuff you have to pay for, but countries are free. I've, yeah. I've seen on um YouTube, we're big in Russia. <laughs> we're, we're bigger in <laughs> Russia than the U.S. in the past week or so. And, uh, I think SoundCloud is like Ireland or Ireland, England. Right, or that's something. what it was. Yeah, you're yeah. from Ireland. Amazing. <laughs> I think we started getting them coming in from was it Brazil and, and Germany? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> we got one from like Kazakhstan or I something. I get those yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I got a couple of them. <laughs> I think those are the same chicks that follow me on Twitter. That you know, the the chick bots that follow you all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Download, download, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys from? Uh, we're both from upstate New York originally, about 75 miles north of New York City. He has since relocated to Virginia by the U.S. Navy. I oh. stayed true to, you know, close to home and still live up in Hyde Park, and we do our show every week over Skype. So. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Did you guys used to do it together in the same room before you moved and everything, or? No, I moved down here in 1994. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow! All right, gotcha. <laughs> the whole thing's been over Skype. We started off. And, uh, funny, funny story about that. We did. We did do one episode where we were in the same room, and it sounded terrible because I think we overthought it. We had two mics going and everything. They're the worst sounding shows we ever did. Wow. But that was, that was back when we were still using the PlayStation headsets. The PlayStation <laughs> headsets, oh no. <laughs> that was our gear. It was two PlayStation headsets and, and the computers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but then we, we threw a Kickstarter up. You know, it was a cheap one. It was like, we have a $500 goal, I think it was. Cool. Yeah. We, we shot for five. Gear. <laughs> <laughs> And then they came through. I think and, uh, it's been our deal. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask, too, what's your favorite old school rapper? Wow. <laughs> it's like asking us to name our favorite kid. Um, favorite kid? I, well, I always see. What's That's that? That's what got me into it, so. Who's that? I always go with Run DMC. Run DMC. Yeah. What I, and first time I ever heard their debut album. You know, I think I was probably about 14. I was like, mm. what in the world is this? And from that point on, it, it just skyrocketed for me. Nice. If I, 
if I'm going to have to pick one and it would, I, my only criteria is who would I just listen to over and over and over without having to have it turned off and that'd be KRS one or boogie down productions. Nice. Yeah. I would say uh beastie boys myself. Yeah. It, and that's an excellent choice. And they got such, such a catalog and, it, and it's such a versatile catalog. You yeah. can't get bored with them. No. Yep. And like, yeah, no, exactly. Okay. Fucking genre. They, they kind of changed like with the, with the yeah. years and all. Yeah, even they changed the every first, album. Yeah, mm. even the first two. The the thing that they hooked you in with, which we were talking about, was that frat boy rock, or frat boy rap. And then the next album, they went psychedelic, and you were like, well, "What the hell is this?" But you still bought it, and yeah. you still dug it. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like the Beatles in a way, like where they started as pop, and then they went on the drugs and all. And they made the next level shit. Yeah, which yeah. is really funny you say that because. Paul's Boutique is a very heavily Beatles-influenced album. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow, I never even knew that. Yeah. Well, I mean, they've got uh, the one song, Eggman, directly samples I Am the Walrus. That's yep. right. That, that is right. <laughs> yeah, well, how do you explain Johnny Ryle? <laughs> <laughs> Jacked up song. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the, um, oh, what was it? Uh... If we had to fit... Uh, what was the video they did? Um, license to like, uh, uh, fight for your right remastered. But they did a couple years ago, right before. Um, was it Mike that died? died? Yeah, MCA, right before yeah. MCA died. Yes, that was amazing. Uh, you you posted that the other day, and I watched it. That was fucking awesome. Oh, that was so cool. Did you watch the full thirty minute one? Yes, that was the one I posted. Yeah, yep, dude. Yeah, where the Beastie Boys come in as the cops at the end. <laughs> yes, yup. That was dope. I love that part. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You could see it in him, though. He was he was very sick at that time. Oh, yeah. He, he was thin. He was old looking. Yeah. What uh, what did he... The voice didn't have the strength to it either. No, he had, he had cancer. Oh, I think throat okay. cancer or mouth cancer. Yeah, throat cancer, I think, yeah. Yeah. That was a shame. I was really upset, too, when um, Grand Royale went, went bankrupt. I think it was the late 90s. That was their record label. The record label, yeah. 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 It's, it... uh, probably the most underrated group that we we talk about because, like Jamie said, they started with that frat boy rap. Nobody ever took them seriously. And then Paul's Boutique came out, and then people started taking them seriously. And every album is like listening to a different group. Yeah. They started playing their own instruments. I mean, That's you hear it. Sa Sabotage is a classic. That was my jam, bro. Anytime I got in the car to drive, I had to turn Sabotage on, man. One of these years, we kept talking. We were going to dress like they did for Halloween. <laughs> and we were going to be, yeah, the, the characters from the Sabotage video. <laughs> I was wa always wanted to be Coachy. Coachy, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what is your favorite Beastie Boys album? I say mine is uh, Ill Communication. Mm. I, I'm going with Paul's Boutique. Paul's. <laughs> just, just because of Shake Yo Rumpa. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> because he's got more hits than Sadahara O. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that was, it was just... that, was, that was on Hey Ladies. And if you can take a Jerry Lewis quote and turn it into a hip hop tune, you're all right with me. <laughs> and it's funny, my kids, um, uh, Intergalactic, they they love that song and they yell at my ex-wife if, if she doesn't leave it on in the car. Intergalactic. But they know it. Yeah, they know it from um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Like they'll they'll say that's that song because that movie played it at the school dance when they were at it. Like it's so cool just how they reintroduce that shit to to kids, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, as we were talking about a few months ago, all these uh, hip hop songs that, are sh mm -hmm. that we grew up with that are showing up in commercials now, right? Mm -hmm. Or even like ACDC songs, like yeah. you know, car commercials and shit, or Eminem. Yeah. Like, I'm like, wait, what in the hell is going on? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not that old. Is that I think we are, now, though, if man. I hear, <laughs> if I hear, I think so too. But now, if I hear the choice is yours. By Black Sheep, I'm looking for a Kia Forte with yeah. hamsters driving it. Yes! 
<laughs> I can't saw. <laughs> oh shit. Do you guys um I was gonna ask I mean, you there was some more obscure stuff too. Yeah yeah. Do you guys have your and, own uh, website? In the commercials, they, they oh. had that peep. Yeah, we do. What is yeah, that? Yeah, the, the website came out, uh, like he said, about the end of January. It's uh, mrthrowbackthursday.com. Okay, because we tried finding some of your stuff. We found one show. Yeah, I was actually on your website today. I don't know what was going on, though, because I couldn't play anything. Later on, it seemed to update, but like when I, I, I don't know. For some reason, like I click on the show... And there would be no button to play, and yeah, uh, yeah, I got a, I got a problem with that, and I'm gonna have to talk to somebody. You know, Bill's wife is our IT department, but <laughs> the if you if you play it on the home page, like if you just scroll down to it and play it right from there, it's not a problem. It's usually at the uh, I want to say it's at the bottom of the show notes, but if you click on the name of the show, it take it opens just the show notes and it takes all the audio out of it. I have no idea why. Wow. Yeah, it was a little bit of a problem earlier. Yeah, but if you scroll down, like if you just go right to mrthrowback.com and you just scroll down and pick a show, there should be a uh, an audio file attached at the bottom of it. Okay. Should be. Yeah. You <laughs> want <laughs> Yeah, we got we got to wrap this up, guys. I'm I'm sorry, I got to catch the bus. <laughs> but it was great talking to you guys because you don't want to miss we, we don't want him to start singing i missed the bus <laughs> and i'll never ever ever do that again which is a crisscross track if you don't know <laughs> slim fat a song what was that song about oh i loved it i don't waiting know for it's, the bus waiting for the bus in the rain and it's just this guy just there like waiting for the bus in the rain waiting for oh, the bus in the rain i thought it was worst. amazing it was the worst <laughs> That's good stuff there. <laughs> yeah, right? That's amazing. It's lyrically amazing, and he's just thinking about, like, he's sitting in the rain and, you know, fucking missed the bus and all kinds of shit happens to this poor dude. <laughs> and, and those are the kind of albums you'll hear reviewed if people tune into our show, because we find all the obscure stuff, and we review those, too. And we did that entire album. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we reviewed Rap and Duke. That's all you need to know about our show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we will definitely uh, be talking to you again sometime soon. We will be around. Awesome. And get us uh, a promo. That's good, fellas. Yeah, we'll work on a promo. I got Bill do it right after we get done here. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. All right, thanks for having Sounds me. Sounds good. Take care. Talk to you later. Okay. Take care, gentlemen. You, you too. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening. It was another fucking great show. Yeah. Um, we'll see you guys again next Ooh. week. Uh, uh, later. Uh.